What's going on guys? It's the Bearded One back with another beer review. Uh, I'm getting a little intimate here so I don't have a, the picture perfect angle here. I don't even have my mic out and I know my head's cut off right about here. Um, I just wanted to get a little nightcap in right before bed and I didn't want to break out all the, the equipment. So um, you just have to bear with me uh, on this one. But I am doing... Um, a barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout from Alabama that would be the I'm gonna butcher this Laika 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 not sure but a suburban barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout from you guessed it straight to L uh, there's the artwork there got a little cute dog there and then there's a satellite there because straight to L is from Huntsville and uh, Huntsville is known for its uh, contributions to space exploration. Um, and there's not much to say about this beer. They didn't write much about it on their website. We'll just get right into it. So far, I do not like Russian Imperial Stouts. And I don't have the highest expectations of this beer, unfortunately. Uh, but you never know. I didn't think I would like one stout. I didn't think I would rate one stout uh, above 4.25 in stout months. And I've already done it a few times already. All right. Yeah, I mean, what's there to say about it? Uh, it looked like black tea coming out, no highlighting, it's just straight black. And, you know, I've said this for a few videos now, uh, it looks like a stout, it walks like a stout, it, it's probably going to smell like a stout. So, you know what, it's probably a stout, and I don't feel like there's any reason uh, to keep repeating myself when it comes to color. Um, not the greatest volatility in the world. There's not a lot of bubbles going on. Head dissipation is fantastic. There's no head on that thing anymore. The retention just went out the window. This thing is really sweet and I am pleasantly surprised. What is in this thing? <laughs> This is going to be a fun review. I have no idea what's in this beer. Uh, I didn't see an ingredient list or anything. So this will really test my knowledge of flavors. I want to say there's almost a phenolic clove thing going on in the aroma. I know yeast yeast produce the uh, phenols. I'm not an expert, so I don't I don't want to elaborate on that. I'm reminded of like clove Dijon cigarettes when people would smoke the Dijon cigarettes, and I know that's kind of a, a crappy um, it's kind of a crappy visualization there uh, to use cigarettes, but it doesn't smell like a cigarette or ashy or anything. I'm getting bourbon, and I don't think I'm picking up on on the barrel. The the roast and the coffee is kind of playing foreground to this really sweet, cinnamony, clovey, vanilla sweetness thing going on there. I, I pleasant nose here. I'm surprised. Because the only other Russian Imperial Stout I've had was just bitter coffee roast and just scorched my nose. All right.
So there's definitely stone fruits in here. There's like a dark cherry, almost berry thing going on here. And it, this beer kind of needs it, uh, at least for me, because it's, it's pretty bitter. There's a tartness in here as well. I'm, like, did they use souring microbes in this thing? That, I mean, I'm getting like a soured tartness. Like I would be drinking a sour. Um, is that an off flavor? I mean, this is supposed to be a bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout. This is bizarre. Again, very fruity. The coffee is delicate. Um, however, the bittering from the coffee, this is, I would say, uh, medium, going towards high bittering factor. Um, and, and the bittering kind of uh, kind of sits on you at the end and it does it does dry the finish is pretty dry um, however the it's got some viscosity on it and what's the ABV on this thing I don't feel like it's very high ABV and they didn't disclose the ABV uh, I feel like they're supposed to but they did not disclose the ABV uh, I'm gonna go back in one more time There's, there's almost a lactose -y thing going on in here, like, and then the, the, I think the bourbon and the stone fruits are kind of playing together, and for me, I think that might be why it's hard for me to pick up that bourbon barrel. Um, they definitely didn't infuse this with whiskey. It's, it's hard for me to detect the, the bourbon in here. Um, a pretty bizarre beer. I, I can't wrap my head around it. Um, if you just love Russian Imperials, go for this, or bitter coffee I feel like this would be like like how you start off on a macro lager and you work your way up to an IPA I feel like the people that have worked their way up to that bitter coffee this is like you know to me Russian Imperial is like the IPA of stouts and so if you've worked your way up to bitter stouts uh, and you live in North Alabama, you can get straight to L. Give it a shot. Maybe you'll like it. Uh, I think there's just a lot going on here that I didn't expect. I mean, I get a really sweet nose that I don't feel like is what I'm tasting on the palate. I don't know, I can't wrap my head on this beer. Uh, as far as a rating goes,
I just feel like this beer is really out of style. And I'm a, I'm a traditionalist. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that scoff at the idea of styles and confining beer. Um, I own a book from a gentleman who believes that way, Randy Mosher. Um, but uh, you have to put things in context. Sometimes we need guidelines uh, so we can figure out what we're drinking. It, it, it kind of helps the enjoyment of beer. Uh, and this beer just kind of tastes out of style. I don't know if it's... I don't know if that souring and the stone fruits are supposed to be in this beer or not. Um, but then, but that's weird. Even though it counterbalances all that bitterness. And then you got the bitterness, which I don't care for. Uh... I don't want to grade it too low because I don't feel like it's a shitty beer uh, as far as quality goes. I feel like straight to ale makes quality beer. And if I'm going to go real low, um, if I'm going to go real low, I feel like I need to go outside of my preference. But for this beer, I'm just going to have to give it... Uh, I'm going to have to give it a 2.25 out of a 5, um, and that is just on personal preference, so so take that rating with a grain of salt here, uh, I just, it's too bitter, and then I don't understand what the stone fruits and the sours are doing, um, the souring, or whatever that is, uh, I, who knows, uh, that's all I got for this beer, um, that was straight to ales, a Laika, Laika, I don't know how to spell it, Laika, uh, Mervyn Barrel Aged, uh, Russian Imperial Stout, uh, three point, or excuse me, 2.25 out of a five. Till next time, guys. Cheers.